over 50 Premier League goals, two Premier League titles. Is £50 million a really good return for Diego Costa right now? They probably could have got more money. Uh, but I think the relationship was probably irreparable. And I think it started in January, maybe Diego Costa wanted to go to China. He fell out with the manager and there was the incident in the summer, maybe the text to Diego Costa. Diego Costa's not even training with Chelsea. So I think it's a case of get as much as you possibly can and actually get him out of your club. I'm sad to see him leave the shores, if mm. I'm being honest with you. Because I think he's been sensational over a few years. I know he's got people that don't like his mannerisms on a football pitch, but I think him and Hazard, Hazard might miss him a lot, you know. I think they are almost telepathic last year, the way they played, the interaction between the two. Um, if Morata, he's hit the ground running at the moment, Morata, if he does quite well, then you won't spare a fault for this fella. If Chelsea fail to deliver and win nothing this year, all of a sudden you look at this decision and say, was it the right one? Well, was it a decision that Chelsea could have avoided or really was there no choice? He said, I'm not going to play for you again, having been texted by the manager say, I don't want you to play for me again. And he said, the only place I'll go with that, let's go. So really, was their hand forced or is there still something that nags the back of your mind that this is just not good business for Chelsea? If you turn around and say, as a player, your manager texts you and say, you're not playing for this club again, it's fair to say you're going to build up a touch of resistance against your manager <laughs> yeah. and, and the, he, the he relationship will never work. He did an article in the newspaper, work. didn't he? He did an article in, the, in, in one of the national newspapers about the text, about the support from the players and, and but, that it was irrepairable and that he wanted to go to Atletico Madrid. I don't think there was any other club in the world, apart from Atletico, that he wanted to go to. I'd yeah. rather have Costa than Morata in my team, to be honest with you. Now, at this moment in time, I think he's better suited to the English game. Morata's got great potential, but I think Costa is someone that, if he was an op opposition manager, you'd rather be facing Morata than Costa. You've both played alongside difficult players, and they say, you could be high maintenance mm. if you're worth it. Does he come into that category? Yes, because he's delivered the, uh, the league for the club. I think as a manager, I always say, when people ask me about sort of maverick talents, let's say, I think there's a balancing act and as soon as the scales go that way and they become more of a nuisance than their value, get shot of them because it's not worth it as a manager. It's not worth those sleepless nights wondering about him. But I think this fella, and we don't know on the inside, Jeff, do we? No. The manager and player scenario. But for me, he still had great value for Chelsea and the English Premier League. I mean, maybe the point you make there about the balance, that's mm. when Antonio Conte said, you're not in my plans. Yeah. And yeah. he was being respectful, but... Yeah, but and that's what good managers do. They make gut decisions and stick by them and hopefully they... The majority of good managers, the trait that they all have, I think, is they see a problem before the problem... Before all us mere mortals is, see the problem the and deal with it. Yeah, is that the time before there's a real rid? problem. Yeah. So obviously he tipped the balance, like Stuart said, and it was time to go. And I think, I think to be fair, Conte had made a decision in January. And he probably needed him to get Chelsea over the line to win the title, used him a little bit, but ultimately he tipped the balance of the scales and he became a problem to the team, the spirit of the team. He could destabilise the dressing room and you get rid. You look, look, the best manager in the world, Sir Alex, got rid of players. The minute it just became about them and not the team, out the door, bring somebody else in. And that's what they've done. They brought Morata in and he's, he's set off like a house on fire. One of the biggest names, you're talking about individuals like that, one of the biggest names that moved from one club to another because they thought he was a hot potato was Cantona at yeah. your place. Yeah. You know, Leeds moved him on because they thought, you know, his value to us might be more of a distraction than it is a value. All of a sudden, the next manager's seen an opportunity and, and we know the story from there. Yeah, the only thing is there, you say he's a disruption. This is a, a, a side that just won the title. So he couldn't be that disruptive. No, he wasn't. And you know what, he's a fantastic player. He scored goals and, and he's someone that you would probably think, I'd love him in my team. But inside the club, if he started to go against the manager in certain, certain training sessions or in certain meetings and, and just, just go against the manager, basically, you've got to get rid because you need harmony in your squad. And if you've not got that, you need to get rid of that player that's causing it. Yeah, but if you, if you didn't have that harmony, we're talking 20 plus 20 goals in yeah. two Premier League seasons, Doesn't... and even with a bit of friction, I mean, you don't have to be best mates, all of you, do you? No, there's best mates and undermining your authority. Yeah. I think once you're un your authority gets undermined as a manager, you know it opens the door for one or two of those sheep in the dressing room to follow a little bit. Mm. And it, in the modern game, 
it takes 2% to be down and you don't win the games that, that you should win. And that's the problem you have. We saw it with Chelsea two years ago, didn't we? You mentioned Alvaro Morata. You say he's made a decent start, but yeah. has he got big shoes to fill here? And, and a very different type of person as well as player. He's, he's, I've interviewed him. Lovely, mm. charming, yeah. articulate, friendly, personable young man. Mm. Completely different type of striker. <laughs> what what, what, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I, listen, I'm, I'm really pleased to hear that, but I still... Maybe it's just me, but I get drawn towards that that hostile yeah. person that's got personality on a football pitch that no one likes to play against, you know, and he oversteps the mark at times, Costa. I understand that and certain things he does, you think, what are you doing that for? But he's got a personality and in the modern game, personality is ebbing away, leadership is ebbing, ebbing away. He's got personality and he's got leadership. Murata's different. Murata thrives off crosses. I think Costa, you can stick him up there on his own. He'll, he'll, he'll take on the whole of the back four, from the, from the left back to the right back, the centre backs, he'll, he'll try and bully them all. I think Murata is a little bit more cute in his movements. I think he thrives a little bit more off crosses. I think he keeps it pretty simple outside the box. But the minute he comes into the box, I actually think he's a better finisher than Costa. But if he was asking me as a central defender, I would hate to play against Diego Costa. I really would. And, and Murata is someone who's good in the air, but he hasn't got that nasty character, that na nasty streak that Costa's got. I think as well, Jeff. where does this leave the Atletico? We're not talking about Atletico, I understand that. But as a, as a European force, I think he could be an extra part of their jigsaw. Yeah. They've done particularly well. Now, this fella coming in at their place could fire them the goals Next and give Griezmann. them the personality. Exactly. Next what, to what a strike force. Can I hang on to Griezmann, though? Well, it may be part of... Look, United went for Griezmann, didn't they, in the summer? Uh, it, it may have been the, new, the moving into the new stadium, look, stay for one year, we're bringing in his replacement already, but them two up front, you, you're starting <coughs> to think that they could win the Champions League with them two up front because sensational centre forwards. Griezmann is, is quick, he, he can run the channels and so can Costa, you wouldn't like to play against either of them.